Hello everyone, welcome to another PlayStation news update. So today is a big day for PlayStation Portal uh, owners. Uh, as we know that Andy Flo have reported back in February that there, uh, he, he was able to run PPSSPP uh, natively on the PlayStation Portal and he mentioned, yes, we hacked it. Uh, so uh, this exploded on all the internet. We can see here that the, the views is almost like 2.2 million. He had a lot of uh, comments here and everybody was wondering how and when that we can do that. And uh, today is the day. So uh, today he published his um, disclosure for this um, discovery. So. Uh, in his GitHub page now, he mentioned that uh, there is a stack buffer overflow in uh, HEVC decoder, and uh, this had been affected by all PlayStation portals below 2.0.6. So if you are below 2.0.6, like the one we have now, uh, because this is the latest firmware which patched the, 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 the exploit itself, if you are in 2.0.5, you unlock he mentioned here the summary, so we can see here that the HEVC the H -E -V -C decoder and PlayStation Portal Remote Play doesn't validate the length of elements copied on uh, to an array. This results an out of bounds right on the stack and may lead to RCE. In addition to this buffer overflow, gaps from, uh, in PlayStation Portal's patching were identified to be vulnerable uh, to this. Um, memory corruption while submitting large list of things. So we can see that the severity is moderate. And here is a proof of concept. So he briefly mentioned what is the, what, what he done and what is the HIV uh, decoder uh, that was uh, like used uh, in, in remote play, that it's not checking the result of this uh, parameter used in an array of this, uh, this, uh, this parameter and that elements. So we can see here the, a very basic write-up of how uh, this vulnerability work and hopefully that we getting uh, some result back from the community that they can implement this and is an actual infield on live thing that we can test it in, in our PlayStation uh, portal. So we can he see here that this affects uh, PlayStation portal and all other remote play clients and iOS and Android and Windows and Mac OS. So this is not only the issue is um, a PlayStation Portal, but uh, this is in everywhere. So we can see here that this uh, this vulnerability uh, available in all forms of uh, remote play, also uh, remote play clients in iOS and Android, Windows and Mac OS. So it seems that uh, Sony patched this thing uh, on the firmware and all other apps. Uh, hopefully that we're getting any, I mean, soon uh, an implementation for this uh, that we can test it in our devices so we can see here that additionally PlayStation portal has batched the gaps and variability so we can see here this is the patched version so we can see uh, this is the um, the the definition of the code the execution all the vulnerability that have been uh, mentioned here we can see it also in the project zero github page so this uh, will help to uh, make things rapidly faster and we can um, like have uh, finally a hackable uh, PlayStation or like finally exportable PlayStation portal that it can uh, run native Android applications. So with that, we can uh, have the ability to run some applications. So we will not be bound by the PlayStation ecosystem and we can utilize the PlayStation portal and other stuff. I mean, it's great device, have a great screen and great controller. We will be bound by the memory, uh, like inboard memory, because have like small partition of uh, of the memory there. But anyway, uh, we can just like run basic apps there, and we can, for example, like running uh, Moonlight. So you can play your uh, PC games remotely on the PlayStation Portal, or you can uh, even run other PlayStation Portal compatible applications like PS. There is other um, uh, remote play applications that you can use. And you will be out of the bounds of the PlayStation Portal. You can, with that, we can uh, see the outcomes of uh, using this device. Hopefully, this will resolve a lot of a lot of issues that we are like facing. We can also uh, run like some. Um, uh, you can say that like the retro uh, ROMs. You can just like download Retro Arc on the on the PlayStation 
uh, portal or you can even uh, add emulation uh, station there. So the possibilities is infinite. I mean, I know that it's like small uh, memory size uh, on the PlayStation device itself, but we can just maintain uh, whatever the bunch of ROMs or like bunch of tricks that we can uh, compress or we can like squeeze it up inside this device. It's an amazing device. It's uh, it can be used in so many stuff. You can watch even like some uh, application. You can download, for example, YouTube or like Netflix or something like that on the go. So you will have multiple stuff going on. We don't we don't know yet about the streaming of other services like video services and all that stuff. But uh, we 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 are approaching like a very big milestone here in 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 exploiting and opening up this device for other application for other uses. So yeah, this was a quick update today. So uh, hopefully that we will be um, soon get a, a real world in implementation for this exploit and uh, we can test it uh, together. If you are in, uh, in, in a position of PlayStation Portal in, in a firmware less than 2.0.5, you are in luck, just like stay tuned until we get this thing. If you're not, unfortunately you cannot because if you get a new device, you have to go through the initial setup and until now we don't know how to bypass this, uh, this steps. So if you reset your device or you uh, have a new device or like put a new device which potentially having a lower firmware, unfortunately you cannot run the 2.0, uh, like a firmware below the 2.0.6 because you need to go through the first initialization of the, the device itself which includes a firmware update. So uh, anyway, thanks guys for sticking in. I just wanted to share this quick update with you guys. Uh, please, if you like my video, please leave a like, uh, thumbs up down, and please also share it with a friend who might be interested in that. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you didn't so. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm planning to put more content on the channel. So uh, like for now, uh, like have a good one and see you in the next one. Bye for now.